It's Ash from Super Videos back for another promo or trailer breakdown for an upcoming episode of The Walking Dead. This is my breakdown of the trailer for season 10 episode 8, the mid-season finale which is called The World Before. Now there's a lot of very interesting stuff happening in this trailer and I'll try to not spend too much time on them but I'll try to give you my high level thoughts and perspective on them. If required, I will do standalone videos on some of these different shots that we have. First, we have this shot of a funeral taking place at Alexandria. Obviously, this is Sadiq's funeral. They have buried Sadiq and that's his funeral, so he's dead. Now, there was some questions whether, you know, Sadiq was dead or not, but he is dead. It's confirmed. I think they said it was confirmed on Talking Dead tonight, so he is definitely dead. And so this is his funeral. So we have Rosita with the baby. She's obviously the main person mourning here. We have Daryl, we have Carol, and Father Gabriel here. Then we have this shot of Father Gabriel. He looks pretty sad. They all do. And then we have Father Gabriel here paying his respects. And then he grabs some dirt to put on Sadiq's grave. And this is part of the ceremony that they have. We have Rosita here. She is definitely shaken. She's not crying as much, but... We all know that she may be in shock and, you know, she might be letting out her true feelings later on. We have this shot of Carol talking to Ezekiel, which is interesting. So it's going to be interesting to see whether Carol and Ezekiel have their talk and whether Ezekiel shares his secret with Carol. Then we have this shot of Dante at the infirmary. So Dante says, none of that matters, but knowing that sets you free, except the future. So that's actually pretty much exactly what the Whisper Prisoner told them, which is interesting. Now, I don't know at this point whether Dante is still playing a game or whether they know they killed Sadiq, they caught him in the act, but what he's saying here pretty much matches exactly with what the Whisper Prisoner was saying. So that leads me to think that he's being his true Whisper self at this point, but I could be wrong about that. Then we have this shot of Daryl punching Dante in the face, now we did see this exact shot in season 10's trailer. At the time, they wanted you to think that it was Negan. I initially thought it was Negan that Daryl was punching, but obviously it's not. It's Dante and Carol is seen in the background, which is pretty interesting. She's just looking. Then we have this shot of Oceanside and there's this boat that's approaching. Now we see the boat here. So we have, I think, Judith, a new character. I think his name is Virgil and Michonne. Now we will see another shot that connects to this shot later on. So a closer shot of Michonne and Virgil. Now we don't see Judith here, but I think she's with them. I could be wrong. Then this pretty awesome shot of the boat again. But we have mid-season finale. Now I don't see Judith here either. So maybe Judith is not with them. But I thought I saw three people there anyway. Then we have this shot of Gamma approaching the Whisper border. Aaron is standing there waiting for her. Gamma says, I have information for you. Now, based on what we saw in tonight's episode, she had a bit of a breakdown. So we know that she's probably not her true Whisper self at this point. She's probably not gonna do what she used to do. Now, there's three ways this could go. Either she's gonna share the information with them that she no longer wants to be a Whisperer and she wants to act as a double agent for them. The second scenario is that she lets them know that Negan is there or she lets them know about Dante being a mole at Alexandria. It could be any of those and all of those are going to be extremely interesting. The Dante one, not really at this point because if they already know, then it doesn't really add anything to the story. Then we have this shot of Daryl watching Carol cross the Whisper border, it seems. So that's interesting. Where is she going this time? Not sure. Then we have this shot of a body on the ground, maybe a walker, maybe a whisperer, Daryl right there, and Carol again. Daryl says in the background, you're going to trust a whisperer now, referring to Gamma, so there's some tension there. Daryl doesn't want them to trust Gamma. Then this shot of Daryl still looking at Carol, most likely. We have this shot of Carol. Now, she's at Alexandria at this point. She says, you're going to do nothing. Maybe this is related to Dante, so... Maybe they're saying they're not going to do anything to Dante. And maybe Carol is questioning that. This could be Daryl as well. Then we have this shot of Father Gabriel looking at Dante in the jail cell. And he opens the cell and goes in. So we have Dante here inside the cell. So this is what leads me to think that they probably at this point know Dante was a mole. He was a whisperer. Or at least they know that he killed 
Sadiq for whatever reason. He might not necessarily have revealed that he's a whisperer, or they might not know that, but they definitely do know that he killed Sadiq because he's in the jail cell. Then we have this shot, which is pretty awesome. Judith slices this guy's feet as he's walking. And this is at Oceanside, by the way. But Judith screams mom, and then the guy falls. Michonne rushes in, and we do see that it's Virgil, the new character who's going to be introduced this season. So that's pretty awesome. And then Michonne says, good girl. So that's pretty cool. But the other thing I want to say, the shot where we have Michonne and Virgil together, it's probably after this scene. Maybe Virgil tells them about where he's from and what he's all about. And maybe Michonne goes with him to see for herself. Now, what makes Michonne trust him? That's another thing to keep in mind. Then we have this shot of Alpha. We have this shot of Daryl with his knife. He's going somewhere. Maybe he's in Whisper territory here. Then we have this shot of Daryl again. He's sneaking around. This shot of some people running. So we have Jerry, we have Connie, and we have Kelly. They're running in the woods. We have, again, Kelly and Nagna here. Then we have this shot of Michonne. Some Oceanside members in the background. We do see Diane and Scott here, who are not really Oceanside members, but they're there. So something is going on at Oceanside. Now, based on the synopsis of this episode, which I'll kind of talk about in my prediction video later on, but we do know there's going to be a fight that's going to break out at Oceanside. So I'm assuming this is connected to that. So Michonne kills this walker and then boom, they are surrounded by whispers. These are probably whispers surrounding Oceanside and specifically Scott, Diane, and Michonne that we see here. So that's pretty interesting so that's pretty much everything that we have for this trailer for the upcoming mid-season finale i am extremely excited for this episode there's a lot of great teases in this trailer that lead me to think that this episode is going to be a pretty good episode but we're going to have to wait and see but hope you guys enjoyed that's it for this video see you next time for another super video if you like what you see press like subscribe for more content and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads